All right, this is first grade, module four, lesson 28. And then in this lesson, we're going to just continue and we're going to write out the rest of this module uh, in uh, just basically practicing what our students have already known, uh, adding to a pair of two-digit numbers. We're still using methods other than the standard algorithm. That standard algorithm is actually going to happen in module six. Uh, so really, we're going to use this module as a way for students to develop number sense, to develop uh, the beginnings of place value, so that students can get the answer in non-traditional ways, and they can use that non-traditional way often as the basis for mental math, but they can also use it later when they're using the standard algorithm. They can use these non-standard methods as a way to check their work. So let's get, practice, uh, let's get practicing. The directions say to solve using quick tens um, number bonds right here and or the arrow, arrow way. So what I'll do is I'll just do one of each. So this problem I'll do the quick tens and the ones, quick tens and ones method. So the idea of the quick tens and ones as we recall is we are going to model both 22 and 17 using quick tens. So 22 is modeled like that, so that's 22, and then 17, we're going to model like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so there's 17, so we've got 22 right here, and then we've got 17 right here, and the idea is, uh, this is kind of a physical pictorial way to represent this physical idea of decomposing both numbers into by place value. So 22 is right here, 20 and 2. 17 is, uh, here's your 10 plus your 7. That's why we often say 10 and 7 more, because 17, it's hard to see that this is the teen and this is the 7. It's kind of a weird thing. Anyway, uh, using our commutative property, we can move the tens together and move the ones together, and we can say, hey, look at that. By putting our tens together and our ones together, we see that we've got three tens and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So the answer is 39, and we get that using the quick tens and ones method. How about this method? We will use the number bonds method. So I'm going to start with 18 plus 17, and we have a couple of choices. Uh, I think what I'll do is I will do the um, make the next 10 method. And the idea is I'm going to look at the 18, and I know I need two more to make the next 10. So I'm going to decompose 17 to be 2 and 15. And so now there is our next 10. So I'm going to do 20, uh, 18, sorry, 18 plus 2. That gives me 20. And I'm going to take that 20, and I'm going to add in this 15 that's still sitting out there. So 20 plus 15, and I get the answer of 35. Now remember, parents and teachers, some of your students may need to decompose this to further get that 35. We, um, we don't want to lose them by doing too much math in our head, but there you go. That's the number bond method. And lastly, we're going to do the arrow way on this one. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with 19, and I'm going to use the arrow, and I'm going to go up 1 to get to 20. And now in my mind, I know that I've used up one, so I have 15 more to go. I can either do that in one step or I could do it in two steps. So let me do it in two steps. So I'll add 10. So that gives us to, gets us to 30. And then I know that I have five more to go. And so that's going to get us to 35. And where do we see our 16? Here's our 16. 10 plus 5 plus 1 is 16. We just took our 16 and broke it up into three parts. And that's how we got the answer of 35 using the arrow way. And that wraps up first grade, module 4, lesson 28, just using a variety of techniques to practice adding a pair 
of two-digit numbers.